Hey guys, so today we're going to be talking about a holster, a mag carrier, and then a sheath from NSR Tactical. NSR Tactical sent over these uh, three items to us to review, and we appreciate them sending that over because they sent this over quite a while ago. We've been testing these uh, this custom Kydex stuff that they build here for months and months, and they've been great and very patient with us. Uh, a lot of companies don't understand that um, we're going to actually spend the time to test the gear. Uh, that's something we're really big on here. I know you guys see a lot of people that push out reviews of stuff uh, two days after it came out, and we generally don't do stuff like that. We may do a first shots or first impressions video, something like that, but we really do want to take the time and give you guys our honest opinion because we know a lot of you guys go out and spend money on, uh, on gear, and it's hard-earned money, so we want to make sure you're really getting you know, getting your money's worth out of it. So we want to thank uh, NSR Tactical for being very patient as, as well as all the other companies that we deal with as well. Those guys have been fantastic in waiting for this review. And uh, that's the kind of people we want to deal with, people that just want to get the uh, honest review of their product. So thank you guys very much. So here's what we're going to talk about. I'm going to set these off to the side real quick and we'll focus on the actual holster here first. Like I said, this is the fold over uh, tuckable inside the waistband you know IWB holster from NSR Tactical. This one is for the M&P shield as you can see right here. Now the first thing I want to talk about is this is just it's really good quality guys like the retention on this is fantastic. Um, there's absolutely no play in this holster whatsoever and a lot of other holsters that we've tested you actually do get a little play in the gun like It'll actually rattle while you're walking around. This one does not do that. But yet, when you go to draw, I mean, it's almost like there's no tension at all. This thing just comes right out. So it is, the retention was perfect with this holster right out of the box. Um, I didn't do any adjustments on here. And that's one of the things that we like to do and one of the reasons we like to test. Some holsters don't have adjustable retention. As you can see right here, this holster clearly does. You have two screws right here with crushable uh, rubber inserts here, which will adjust your tension uh, for the gun. I didn't adjust this whatsoever from the way they had it set, and it hasn't loosened on me. Um, this thing has just been really nice. It's held up really well. Um, this gun is clear, by the way. It was checked before the camera, so just for the safety analysis, set that off to the side. But this hugs very tight against your body. This can be worn in the appendix carry position. Uh, the two o'clock, three, three thirty. You know, however you carry, this can be, you know, anywhere on the body. And I'll throw up a picture real quick here of Gary wearing this in the appendix. Uh, Gary's a lot smaller than I am, as far as, you know, I have that um, belly on me, and Gary doesn't have much of a belly on him, so uh, it's a lot more comfortable for him. So let me show the picture there of Gary wearing this. Okay, so you can see that's basically what you get as far as. Uh, the appendix carry and like I said you can carry this uh, any anywhere you can carry any other IWB holster um, it was really comfortable as far as me wearing it I wore this at around the 330 position I wore this to church a lot because a lot of times I would have to you know I would dress up for church so having the ability to tuck your shirt in around this and all you see when that is tucked in is this soft loop here on this little strut so most people to be honest really never even noticed uh, this loop on my belt, you know, this little black loop on a on a black belt doesn't stand out to anyone's attention. And there's a lot of other holsters, like um, you know, some of the uh, hybrid holsters that are leather and kydex that have the two big metal clips. Those are a lot more noticeable than something like this. Now you can add another strut like this to this side as well if you want to do that. They already have the holes um, punched out here in the kydex. So if you want to have uh, two of these soft loops you can do that and if you wanted to put like a clip like the sheath has here I'm sure you could put something like that on there as well so you do have a lot of options with this and like I said this does ride very tight up against the body it conceals very well had no problems with the uh, concealability with this holster whatsoever and one of my pet peeves for kydex uh, holster manufacturers is the edge of the holsters and uh, you'll see in some other videos, I'll show you guys um, <laughs> that some of the people do not pay the attention to this. Now, one of the reasons that that, that is important to me is because that can be uh, 
affect the comfortability of the holster. If there's any sharp edges or anything like that, you're gonna get poked. Um, I generally wear an Under Armour every single day under whatever shirt I'm wearing. Um, it kinda keeps moisture off of my gun and it makes it a little more comfortable to carry. There's not cold steel against your, you know, right against your skin. Um, but if there's any sharp edges or any nicks in this, um, that can cause comfortability issues. It can it can be painful actually. So anytime that you actually get a nick in here, you can take a little sandpaper and take a really high grit and you can sand that down a little bit and that'll actually uh, take that nick out. So yeah, all in all, really good holster. Retention's great. They do uh, make it so you can actually um, put your mag on here as well. I know they have another holster that this fits just like this and uh, you can carry that in the appendix style. Now on this holster, I'm not sure that that would uh, work out on this one. I don't, I don't really think it's designed to do that because that would make it pretty thick as far as the appendix carry. But they do have one that actually wings out a little bit here and you can sit it like that and it really doesn't add any thickness. So that's an option as well. But like I said, all in all, a uh, lot of options with this and it's a really nice uh, holster, very concealable. Uh, like the picture I just showed you of uh, Gary wearing this, um, that particular day, he doesn't always wear his shirt like that, by the way, he tucked in like that. Uh, we were just, uh, had him tuck it in that day just to show off the holster and uh, all that sort of thing. But uh, here's some other pictures of him wearing this inside the car. He was uh, pretty comfortable, he said, wearing this all day like that. As were me, it's not very comfortable for me to carry appendix. You know, I'm a lot heavier guy than Gary is, so. But here's those pictures. So as you can see, um, appendix carry, this is really nice for appendix carry. Appendix is really popular right now. I'm not a big fan of appendix carry myself and that's just for personal reasons. It's not very comfortable for me whatsoever. And you know, I'm a, I'm a bigger guy, so that, that's probably the issue there. But yeah, really love this. Uh, retention is really good. Uh, great job on the holster. So next let's talk about the uh, mag carrier. This is the mate to that holster. This is a fold over tuckable inside the waistband magazine carrier. I carried this as well as uh, the holster when I went to church and stuff like that or any time that I was dressed up and no one really knew that I had either of these. They're very concealable. This has the same attributes as the holster did. Retention, fantastic out of the box. I did not have to adjust these, although you do have two adjustments here as well for retention, which is a nice uh, feature as well. A lot of times you don't get adjustable retention with some other holster manufacturers. Most uh, nowadays do have adjustable retention though. That So uh, not to say that most don't, most do actually have that. Same polished edges, uh, really good attention detail. It's very comfortable to wear. Um, retention, like I said, is great. And then also the tuckability, this hides very well against the body. Uh, exact same attributes as you would find in the holster. So very nice there. Okay, so last but not least here is this uh, little sheath they sent for our uh, K-Bar TDI knife. Now I really do like this sheath. There are no adjustments on this for retention. This is built exactly for your knife. And uh, like I said, I've used it quite a bit and we've had no problems with this loosening up and the knife falling out or anything like that. This does not have any retention points for you to adjust. Like I said, this is built, you know, right exactly for this knife. So there, it's not been an issue. It hasn't loosened up or anything like that. Now there are a few features that I actually like about this better than the original. We'll get into that here in one second. But one thing I wanted to point out is on these TDI knives, even though you may have this exact same model, there's like, I think three models for this. There's a serrated and a non-serrated and a couple of different models. But uh, those models, if they're a newer one, like this one is right here, you see this little notch where this finger is. Uh, you wanna tell them, and there'll be a link in the description to their website that tells you what to look for, but you wanna tell them which version you have because the thickness is slightly different in between those models. But once you tell them which one you have, the one with the notch or the one without it, they'll make that holster specifically to fit that. And uh, this is really great. I, I much prefer this over the uh, original. And let me show you that original uh, sheath right here. And this is it. Now this, of course, is made to be held in the uh, straight up and down position. Uh, 
where you know the horizontal on the belt which i don't really prefer i like the uh, vertical mounting of this one uh, much better it actually it's just more comfortable for me and takes up less room to be honest it's less protruding and easier to conceal in my opinion now as you can see this is a much smaller sheath than the original and that is always a plus as well so that's that's basically it guys i mean this is a pretty uh a simple thing this is a uh, this is also a fold over as well for this sheath now i want to go over some of the pricing just off the top of my head if it's different than uh, what i'm gonna state here uh, you'll see an annotation up on the screen now i believe that the uh, tdi sheath i think that starts at about 28 dollars um, for something like this which is pretty reasonable and pretty competitive in the marketplace and then for the mag carrier i think these start at 25 dollars once again that's uh, pretty competitive cheaper than some of the other places i've seen um, but pretty competitive with some of the others so i mean pricing is is pretty good with these uh with the nsr tactical stuff now the holster this is going to be around 65 dollars again uh, very competitive in the marketplace uh, for what you're getting these guys put some uh, really you know they put their time and effort into this and they, they do a really good job so there you have it guys uh, it is a thumbs up in my opinion for these items here that nsr tactical sent us and that we've been reviewing please go over and check out their website and if you feel so inclined and you're in the you know the market for something like this go to their website and pick one up we want to thank nsr tackle for sending these over and being very patient with us as we were in the testing process um, really good stuff we uh we really do appreciate all you guys watching as well don't forget to hit the like and the subscribe button if you haven't done that already and uh thanks for watching guys and we'll see you in the next video